Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm back for another live Facebook. I'm just going to bring it up on my screen in front of me. Just bear with me a second. And now I've lost it. Beautiful. Okay. And the comments on. Hey, Tony. Hey, Carrie Ann. How are you guys? All right. So, this afternoon, I thought I would do a live Facebook, um, a bit of a scrapbook page with stencils and Lindy's Gang sprays. So, I know. So, what I'm going to do. Um, I actually received, I just want to show you, hey there Tina, I just want to show you some of the really cool stencils that I got in in yesterday's delivery. Um, I have a massive big box of them here on my lap, but I'll just put those off camera. Just to show you some of these amazing designs, and I'll try and do it so I don't get too much glare here. I've got a new fancy... Um, fancy schmancy lighting setup so I thought I'd show you some of these stencils so these are the mermaids what I love about this one is that you get all of these um, patterns here to make some cool textures plus you get the masks as well um, this is a brand new design this is only um, well it's not all that old so and I do love that you can cut these up into six by fours so the building stencil this is probably one of my most used and most popular stencils. Uh, I did a project with it back in May and um, absolutely love this. So for those of you who had ordered them, um, jump online now or showed interest in ordering them. Um, jump online now and you'll be able to grab those while they're in. Uh, love this one. I think everyone has seen me use this guy at some stage, the Scribble Scratch stencil designed by Carolyn Doobie. This is the one I'm going to be using today in the scrapbook page. So, hey there, Kathy. Uh, and I can see that, oh, there's lots of people watching. Oh, hey, Tammy. Hey, Georgia. I'm not going to go through that whole thing because that's annoying. Um, but, yeah, this is the one I'm going to use today. So, I love that, the leaves. Pomegranates. Loving the pomegranates. That's really, really nice. Uh, this one here by Seth Apter. Uh, he has got some gorgeous designs. And this is the Mix Up um, Artist Trading Card stencil. And what I love about this is that you you can cut them up and then you've got instantly nine quick little stencils. And the bouquet one, I do believe this is, uh, is Sue Plum's favourite stencil. Um, I'm lucky enough to be on the team of designers for Stencil Girl um, alongside Sue. So I love spending, um, being on a team with that girly. Um, and then I've got all these little 6x6 six six available as well. So the, the faces in the crowd. Um, there is the one that I used this morning. So that's the, um, the little pies. What else have we got here? Oh, I'm going to be doing an art journal page with this one. Um, probably Saturday afternoon, I think. And what else have we got here? Pam Carrick has done this gorgeous one here. And she's also, if anyone knows Pam Carricker's work, she's got these gorgeous, gorgeous stamps which give you some amazing backgrounds to start creating faces with. So uh, some really amazing designs online for those at the moment. Okay, enough waffle. Let's get to the good stuff. So they're all 15% off, by the way. So uh, make the most of that. Let me just dump that on the floor. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a scrapbook page, uh, quick and simple, using Lindy sprays and this guy here. So I have got some heavyweight cardstock. Heavyweight meaning uh, just not Kazercraft thinner cardstock. This has got a little bit more oomph to it. Uh, I want to cut out a panel, so I'm going to be using... 13 Arts Gesso, which uh, a lot of you know is probably one of my favourite uh, 
products for running through a stencil because it's really, really thick. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really quite gelatinous. And what sells me on it is it's white. It is super white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that up on my page like that. Using my catalyst tool, I'm going to get in here. And you can see that it's a bit like a jelly consistency, which freaks people out. But I'm just going to get it on like so. Spreading it out like um, Nutella on a on toast. Or peanut butter on toast. And I'm smoothing it out. It is absolutely beautiful to use, but you do have to spread it around. So I have been using this for a while just because I like the consistency of it. Um, it will work really, this technique will work fine with modeling paste or texture paste or anything along those lines, but you want something that is going to dry with a little bit of body. So when I pull off the stencil, it's going to leave that beautiful pattern. All right, so straight on like that just backwards and forwards and what I like about using the catalyst tool is that even if I just pop that aside the silicon of the catalyst tool the bit on the end here is going to allow all of that to just peel right off so and come nice and clean but I'm just wiping it off on the edge there pop my lid back on uh, and then I'm just going to dry it with a baby wipe just because making good habits and blah, blah, blah. All right. So what's going to happen now when I peel my stencil off is we end up with that awesome pattern. And I'll peel it from this side. And there we go. Um, so I'm just going to bring that up to camera so that you can see that beautiful pattern sitting on the paper. So what needs to happen next is we need to dry that off. But conveniently, here's one I prepared earlier. But before I do that, I'm just going to wipe off my stencil because I don't want that to dry on my stencil because that will make it um, absolutely gross. So bear with me just a jiffy. So I've just got that between two pieces of paper towel and then just taking the excess off with a baby wipe. Voila. So I do apologise if my internet connection is a little bit um, blurry. Uh, I mentioned earlier today um, internet usage in my suburb is at a premium the daughter is sitting on her bed. She's at home dying with a head cold. The husband is sitting at the kitchen table. He's also dying with a head cold. Um, well, he's not really, but you know. Um, I can't say that. <laughs> uh, so yes, and he's working from home as well. Oh, hi there, Mick Maloney. I see you watching. All right, so here's the one I prepared earlier. So this is completely dried, leaving that really nice pattern sitting on top of the paper. And it's given a, I'm just going to bring that up to camera. Hopefully it'll stay in focus. Yeah, there we go. But you can see that gorgeous pattern coming through there. So it is the, the leaves pattern. All right, so let's talk Lindy sprays. So Lindy sprays, Lindy's have been around for 20 plus years. They are a fantastic family owned American company. They are manufactured and packaged in Washington in a family business. So they are not manufactured in China or anything along those lines. They are a good family business who love what they do. And I absolutely love representing them as a company. So when you buy the Lindy's products, um, they come as a powder that you need to activate the powders. So what happens is that you need to fill them up to the fill line with hot water. So here in Adelaide where our water's a bit crap, we 
I like to use filtered tap water. Uh, so I then boil it in the kettle, bring it back down to room temperature, fill it up, give it a shake, and then let it sit for 10 minutes. I guess they're like jelly crystals, they need to dissolve. So this is one of the Starburst sprays, and you can see the good shimmery color that's in the bottom of those. Um, so I've got a couple of colors here I'm gonna have a bit of a play with. So I've got Magnolia Magenta Gold, Open Arms Amethyst, and I've got a Moon Shadow Spray called Phantom Fuchsia. So these two here, which are the Starburst sprays, these are a, a colored pigment ink, with a colored shimmer so they are absolutely beautiful this one here is a moon shadow mist so moon shadow mists and here's another moon shadow mists are a sepia colored liquid and they have a colored shimmer so you can see on the bottom of those the shimmer is um, aqua and turquoise and this one has like a fuchsia shimmer. So they've got all that goodness sitting in the bottom. So the spray is gonna be brown and the shimmer is going to be with the color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start spraying this background here. So I'm gonna start out with my lightest color, which is the Magnolia Magenta Gold. So the Lindy sprays are all this weekend on special for 15% off. So um opportunity to buy them all buy all the colors <laughs> um so what i'm doing as you can see i'm moving across my page this is how i avoid getting a what i call an ink splat or an ink fart <laughs> um i did a, a video last month with uh, lindy's 101 how to use the sprays um and you can actually catch that over on my youtube channel or if you scroll back through my facebook uh, so this one here I've put on first and now I'm going to layer up with the Urban Amethyst. Open Arms Amethyst, sorry. And you can see that beautiful rich colour. So you do have to give them a good shake first and you get this beautiful tone coming through and I'm just letting that drip down through my stenciling what what is not showing up on camera is the awesome shimmer that's coming through um, there's a lovely gold shimmer that's sitting on top of the whole lot at the moment what I'm doing is just giving the phantom fuchsia a good shake here and I'm going to add this one next so this is going to add a brown to it but the shimmer that it holds is going to be, the shimmer that it has is going to be a beautiful fuchsia color. So I want to drip a bit of this brown down through that stenciling. It's all about layering on the color because I want those gaps in under the paper to show up really, really nicely. Adding a little bit more color there. And I am loving that. So I'm getting this really lovely two-tone sort of background. So the paper is uh, it's just using a plain cardstock. It's nothing special. It's just, uh, like I said, it's just a slightly thicker than your, your standard. And I'm just going to quickly run my heat gun over the top of that to dry it off. And this is going to be the boring bit is you watching uh, paint dry. But sprays work really, really easily if you have the confidence. So just, just get it on there. If it doesn't work, you haven't wasted anything other than a piece of paper. Uh, so I think that you gain more by trying something new rather than, um, than not trying something new, I guess. So can you see, I don't know if you can see, a little bit's coming up on screen. That brown shimmer that you're seeing come up. That's, or that brown colouring is actually just the shimmer. It is beautiful. So I'm just drying this off. So this weekend, as part of the Great Australian Craft Show for Craft Alive, it's a fantastic opportunity to go to a craft show without 
leaving home. So if you head over to the Craft Alive Facebook page, uh, Craft Alive one word, there is lots of links and show specials from numerous different exhibitors and including myself and everyone has got some amazing specials on this weekend and everyone's doing something a little bit different. There's also a classroom that you can sign up to to do free classes which are a lot more in depth than what I'm showing you here uh, but it is the most amazing opportunity to try lots of different companies and support these small businesses within Australia who are currently struggling as part of uh, closing down for the year uh, and and the opportunity to spread spread a little bit of that love around uh, so I've got lots of specials happening this weekend so all the Lindy's products are 15% off online uh, so sprays and magicals and embossing powders as well uh, I've also got all my stencils at 15% off and paper pads and other cool little bits and pieces so and as I said earlier in my last video um, I won't be doing a mail run until Monday so please don't pay for express postage <laughs> because if you decide that you want to add to your order you can just place a second order and select pickup and then you only have to pay postage once I do know there's a couple of lovely ladies who have done that already this morning and I do know um, that you guys are always loving what we do here and um, I'm very grateful for your business so all right so that's looking pretty dry as you can see one thing I did was dry it from the back as well so what happens is of course because it's wet you want to make sure that it is dry all the way through so just heat setting it on the back often helps okay so now I'm going to trim down this page so I've got my trimmer here now if anybody is wondering um, I also have plenty in stock of the replacement blades for the Fiskars triple track so the triple track is the one that's got the blade in the middle and the two um, wings on it I guess so you'll find those in the tool section online uh, I do know that the Fiskars blades have been out of stock Australia wide and very hard to find so I have a couple of um, friends who are in the know and hooked me up with a little supply of Fiskars blades so I tend to use Fiskars as my trimmer of choice or I have a guillotine that I use as well so I'm just trimming this back down and I think my blade actually needs replacing but you know that's okay so just trimming off the edges because I want this to be like a feature panel on my on my scrapbook layout and I've got no idea if that's straight but we're gonna go with it that looks pretty good to me okay so I'm going to pop a little bit of double-sided tape on the back of this um, and because I have it yeah it's pretty pretty feeling pretty dry actually but I can see that beautiful shimmer um, double-sided tape so I like to use the 12 mil express it double-sided tape um, and what I love about this tape is that it tears and you don't have to cut it with scissors the last thing you want to do is mess up your scissors by having double-sided tape stuck to them so I'm going to just run three strips down the middle and because I finally got fingernails again um, you know it's the big issues I'm going to use um, I use my little craft knife and just peel back off like so And then I've got another piece of plain white and I'm going to pop that like so I think I like it that way yeah that'll do all right okay so 
that has stuck that down to the page. So a couple of things that you can do from here. If you had the, um, if I had the opportunity, I could run my sewing machine around here and create a bit of a stitched sort of background. That would look really cool, uh, but I'm not gonna do that because no one needs to see me struggle with that. So I'm gonna use my uh, Pilot drawing pen. This is my pen of choice for doodling. Um, and I love that it's waterproof. So if I decide that I want to add something else to my page later on uh, and add a little bit of liquid to it, and it pretty much draws over just about everything. So instead of using a stitched, uh, sorry, a sewing machine to draw a stitched line, I can just do a little bit of doodling around my edge to create a bit of a frame around this pretty panel that I've created for my scrapbook page, uh, like so. And I don't want it to be perfect. I really love the idea of a non-perfect line. Nothing else about this page is going to be perfect. So why should my line be perfect? Hey there, Sandra Hartley, I see you watching me. Are you not working today or you are working? <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so there is my page stuck, uh, my panel stuck onto my page. Um, for those of you who are wondering, what this is in the background here is something to catch my overspray and my drips. This is a puppy training pad. My little, um, my go-to secret for, uh, for creating messy backgrounds. So I've got my photo here of Miss Jessica that I'm going to pop on and I want to stick that on. I'm actually thinking it needs to go this way. So body language is everything in scrapbooking. This particular photo, you can see that Jessica's body language is facing that way. So, oh, I'm going to sneeze, sorry. Uh, shoo! Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, excuse me. Oh, gotta love sneezing on live Facebook. Um, okay, so body language. Body language is everything on a scrapbook page. So you can see in this photo of Jess, she's facing that way. So if I was to put her on this side here, she is facing out of the page and that's a negative body language. It's something, <laughs> something that will look much, much nicer is if it sits over here, um, it's more visually pleasing, it's nicer on the eye to see um, see what's going, you know, see, see how that's working there. So I'm going to centre that about there. When I put my page together, uh, I've just got this on some Kaisercraft cardstock. I like to use a piece of um, cardboard. This is how I handle some of our cardboard boxes and our deliveries that come in um, is I mat my photo or stick my photo up on it to give it some height instead of using foam tape. So I'm just going to the tape there and a bit of tape there. So that then goes on the back like so. And I've got no idea what I'm going to do from here, but I'm going to stick this photo here and I'm just going to commit to it. Bam, done, stuck down. Um, so what else have I got here? I've, I went through my little stash of embellishments and found some flowers. I've got a bag of flowers since I seem to have had like forever and ever. And I'm going to add some flowers to my page. Uh, I've got, what have I got here? These ones are Prima roses, which I think I have probably had for, oh, I'm going to say a very long time. And, no, don't like that one. Or do I? No. 
and I'm not going to fluff around too much but could do with giving oh, a couple of leaves here is that two yes they were stuck together small leaf small leaf right haven't quite decided what I'm doing with the flowers yet but that's part of this process which clearly I haven't thought this through but you know what how bad can it go so what I want to do is I want to color the I can color my flowers I don't want them to be white mind you they do look pretty in white but I will show you how to color them as well with Lindy sprays so I'm going to color my leaves first to give them a bit of a spray and I'm going to cover color them with I've got one of the Lindy's Moon Shadows Mists in Tawny Turquoise. So this is going to be a brown shimmer with a turquoise, um, brown spray with a turquoise shimmer is what I'm trying to say. Hey, Rose, how are you going? Okay, so giving it a really good shake and then I'm going to lightly spray it. So when I'm spraying, it's a backwards and forwards movement. And it's coloured, completely coloured, those leaves. So I'm also going to give it a light spray with, whoops, Magnolia Magenta Gold, which is that beautiful little magenta that I've got. And just give that a light squirt. And then I'm going to pop those up there to dry. And the movement backwards and forth, that is what gives it that even spray. Um, like I said before, if you were, just to touch quickly on, on how, to create, how to spray confidently, if I was to, if I was to spray like that, then I get a round circle. If I was to hesitate and go like that, then I get this, what I call a little ink fart. I get these splotches. If I move it backwards and forwards, that is where I get a nice even mist. Okay, so I get a lot of people commenting saying, oh, but I can't spray properly. I don't know how to get my spray. I get splatters all the time, um, et cetera, et cetera. The way that I do it, it's, a, it's just a confident hand backwards and forwards, and I have a big area that I can allow over spray to go on. So I have got flowers here, and this is really important when you do flowers to color them because I can move backwards and forwards, and I have to turn my flowers because I want all of the color to go on there. And I'm gonna add a second color. So this that was the lighter pink, and now I'm just going to give it a bit of love with the darker pink, and didn't do this one for some reason so um and if i don't want these bits here to be colored i just hold my you can put a piece of washi tape over it or i just hide it with my hand and move it around because i still want i didn't want to color that bit yeah see that's looking pretty good and then I need to dry those off. But they're not saturated, so they're not going to take long. So you can do this with any flowers and leaves. So the, the good thing about these is it's a good way to clean up some of the things in your stash. If you have a selection of flowers that are colours that you might not necessarily like, there's no reason why you can't colour them to make them something that you do like. I know that a lot of us have got quite a stash of scrapbooking embellishments. Yeah, well, I do anyway. Um, speaking of which, if you jump onto my website and have a bit of a look, um, down on the sidebar, so that's nataliemay.com.au, there is a little folder of pre-loved items, Nat's stash. So I had a bit of a clean out of some dies and some stamps and some embossing folders. Uh, there you'll find a couple of other very uh, interesting other little bits and pieces in there some storage options um, but there's certainly some bargains in there that you can find all right so back to this so what I want to do is I've got a pile of 
embellishments. So I'm just going to have a look and see what I can find here. A Ziploc bag of random embellishments that I have. I might just put those on a piece of paper so that they don't go everywhere. So these are just little die cut bits and pieces that um, left over from packs of collectibles and things like that. This is where I'll find, uh, I just keep this handy if I'm building up colours or sorry, building up layouts so I can kind of keep bits and pieces together of and, and, and for, forage back through and find something that might suit one of my pages. Um, I've got no idea what collections they are from. There are all sorts here from Prima through to um, My Mind's Eye. There's stuff that I have purchased from New Zealand. Um, all sorts of little bits and pieces. Look, there's a little unicorn one. So lots of bits and pieces left over. Doesn't make for very good viewing. Should have thought this through earlier, but you know, I didn't. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Does anybody else have a Ziploc bag with a whole heap of random crap in it like this? Sorry, valuable craft supplies. I'm sure you all do. So I'm just picking out similar things or colours that are in similar similar sort of um, and shapes that are similar colours that could work. Um, got a heap of acetate ones here as well. Lots of random crap. Yeah, actually, that's exactly what it is, Carrie Ann. Lots of random crap. But they're things that, you know, you kind of collect over time and go, oh, yeah, that'll come in handy one day. You can't throw it out. Well, you don't throw it out unless you genuinely, well, if you don't think you're actually going to use it and it is just random crap, then, yeah, throw it out. Oh, man, no, I can't find what I'm looking for. Oh, look, there's a flower. Got a, a, quite a collection of butterflies, I can tell you. So, did you have an opportunity to look at my last, my finished cards from my last live? They came up looking kind of cool. Uh, I was most impressed with them. The, <laughs> the one with the background, the wash background, I changed my mind on that and decided I didn't like it. So, um, whipped up another one quickly, as you do. Alright, I'm just going to. Pop that aside and just because I'm not happy ice cream wow. these are more masculine embellishments by the looks here there's a couple of bits and pieces in here some cocoa vanilla randomness um, for those of you who like to create with kits as well, I do have a range of kits online. I've just, I added one in yesterday for card makers. Super simple cards uh, using the new Minte papers. So there's definitely some options there. All right, so let's start putting this together. I have got here, I know that I want to put my flowers in here. And colouring my flowers to suit my page gives me consistency. These brown leaves have mixed things up quite nicely. And I'm just going to jump right in and commit to that. So again, I'm using, I want to use this flower here. I want this to be lifted up a bit. So I'm going to use some cardboard. And I want to give it a bit of height. So I've got my... Puzzle glue. Oh, that might just be enough actually. All right. And now I'll stick this guy here. 
down. And that's going to go right there. Holding that down. So what's that, Karen? You had receipts from the 1970s. Um, yeah. That's holding on to stuff that you don't need in life, love. Definitely. All right. So I'm now going to pop on these guys here. And I'm just going to talk... Well, I'm not really going to talk through much, much of this process. But I'm just going to pop these on. Um, creating a cluster. I will... Always create a cluster around the corner of my page. I've got one flower here. Actually, that's the bigger flower. So I'm going to swap that over to there. Bigger flower will need to sit at the top, not the bottom. I'm going to pop a flower there. Right, so I'm just going to tuck in a couple of leaves. And it's just about creating something that's pleasing to your eye. Trust what you see. I'm working around my photo. I'm not going to stick stuff randomly in the middle or it's not going to be balanced. Um, I really want to focus first up on getting these leaves and these flowers in. So that it looks nice um, the other thing that you can use with Lindy's is chipboard so if you've got chipboard I know I've got a couple of drawers having worked for a chipboard company for quite a few years um, I've got a drawer of raw chipboard just holding that down for a second so the glue catches um, so raw chipboard being something that looks like this so I can also colour this with the Lindy spray. So I'm just going to pop that somewhere. And I can very easily just pop these out of here. So these are just out of my personal stash. I do have a range of chipboard online. I do not have this design here for sale. Um, this is one of my designs from uh, Imaginarium from forever ago. But... So just pulled out of my little private stash. But you can colour it to suit. So I just want to make these sticking with the colours that I've already used. I want to go with a brown perhaps. So let me just cut that out. Okay, so... Probably want to go that way on my page and I'm going to use this color here so this is one of the moon shadow sprays and these are the ones of course that have got a brown brown shimmer uh, sorry brown spray and a colored shimmer and the best thing about chipboard is that the shimmer sits on top of the chipboard. So the moon shadow sprays are almost made for chipboard. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that dampness out of it with the heat tool. So if you don't have a heat tool, um, I highly recommend investing in one they make your creating so much quicker and easier and they're a small investment for something that saves a truckload of time uh, and a lot easier to use than a hairdryer of course i've got a big wet puddle here so i'm just going to pop a piece of paper towel over it so i can throw my layout back down Okay, so I want to now get this chipboard 
around my page. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue in on the base of the stem. And I put it on the base of the stem because I want it to slide in. and sit up a little bit on my page. If that makes sense. I'll pop that one under my leaf. And it doesn't matter that it's sitting on top of my photo because I'm using an acid free glue and it's not going to deteriorate my photograph. Tuck that guy in there. I really needed to do that on that side, so I'm just going to give that a quick spray because I should have done it on that other side. Facing the other way, I should say. Yeah, Jessica was about, oh, I want to say about 11 in that photo. She was a bit of a cutie. She's just a 17 year old now. <laughs> Who is laying in bed watching Netflix, dying of snot, I'm sure. I should have more sympathy, shouldn't I? Anyway, all right. So you can kind of see what's going on with that stuff that I've just stuck down. So I actually quite like it like that. Um, I've got a few little embellishments here. Oh, and you can see on the camera that shimmer that's coming up from the Lindy's. Um, I do have a couple of little embellishments here that I could pop in. But I'm not loving anything at the moment. So I'm wanting to... Oh, hey, hey, that works. Uh, I'm thinking that I'll just keep it super simple and pop on that little title. All right. Um, I need some brown ink to edge that in. Okay, I don't have a brown ink pad handy because uh, I want to take off that white core of the paper. So because I don't have a white ink pad handy, let's do something else. I'm going to take my Lindy spray Take the nozzle off and I'm going to run my nozzle across the side and what's happening is it's just inking. The other one's got more in it. Hang on a minute. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. So that's better. So now it's taking off the taking away the white core of my paper, which will show up, and I will. Yeah, there we go. So the cool thing about the Lindy sprays is that they are a pigment dye based spray, so they have a permanency to them as well. They will make all of your projects look awesome. You just have a little bit of confidence in your creating. Um, you don't lose anything by trying something new. Um, I'll just pop this guy on here with some of the silicon tape and then I'll talk you back through what I have done, how I've done it and just touch on those techniques. Uh, the last thing I will do with this page and I will do it after I have shown you and photographed is I will... I'll add some journaling. Scrapbooking is nothing without journaling. Scrapbooking is all about recording what's going on in the photograph and enhancing your photo. So the whole idea here is to record some information about this lovely photo of Jessica, how old she is, where the photo was taken, a little bit about her at this age. So. I'll do that. Now, if I don't want to add it to my page, I can add it on the back so that when I guess somebody picks it up out of a mini skip in X amount of years time, they're going to um, know who's in that photograph. But hopefully they will be treasured memories for years and years to come. Okay, so 
what we have what we did is on a separate piece of cardstock I used the 13 arts white gesso over a stencil girl stencil in the background used my catalyst tool which is my craft knife my sorry my palette knife to spread that out once it was totally dry we used a couple of different Lindy sprays so I used open arms amethyst and magnolia magenta gold in the starburst sprays and then over the top of that I added phantom fuchsia in the moon, moon shadow spray so that's the brown one with the beautiful fuchsia shimmer so you can see that 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 gold shimmer sitting in and around the stenciling and then used my white prima flowers which I have had since the middle ages I gave them a spray with those same those same colors and then pop those on the leaves were white I sprayed them to pop them on and my chipboard the chipboard was raw chipboard I then sprayed it with Treasure Island Aqua and because the chipboard is porous the aqua sits the aqua shimmer I don't know if you can see I'm just gonna stand up and have a look here we go um, you can see that shimmer that sits on top looks pretty bloody awesome god that looks good up close every now and again I surprise myself anyway so um, we've got the panel we've got the flowers stuck on um, I use puzzle glue to stick that on and double-sided tape and pretty much that was it um, so jump online nataliemay.com.au 15% off all your Lindy's products 15% off of all of the stencils um, for those of you who have just joined in joined in go back and watch the beginning because I show you the awesome new stencil girl stencils that arrived yesterday um, what else have I got? Stamps as well, 15% off. Paper collections are 15% off. Boom gel, 20%. Plus I'll be doing daily specials as well. Um, I mentioned earlier, I'm posting my orders, or all of your orders, on Monday. If you decide that you want to add something else and send all together, just put a note in and don't pay for postage the second time. Select pick up. And um, and then I'll just bundle everything together for you. So thank you for joining in. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I will be back tomorrow morning at, say, uh, what time? 10.30 Adelaide time. Uh, and I will be doing tomorrow morning... I have said I'm going to do another scrapbook page with Lindy's. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we'll cross that hurdle when we get to it. So... Um, Look forward to seeing you all then. Bye.